Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well we've got a little hero section here today. We've got this image of the lake here with an icon and a title. When we hover over it, it's going to pop up with some info and a call to action button. And when we get back off of it, that's going to disappear again. Really easy to do, no coding involved with this today. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the visual builder. OK, let's go down. I'm just going to delete the row in the section we've got here. And we'll start from scratch. I'm going to create a new section, a little blue button for a section. I'm going to make it a regular section. And I'm going to give it one column, one row inside. Now, first module I'm going to use is a blurb module purely so I can use the icon from it. So I'm going to hit the blurb module right there. And there it is. Obviously put your title, whatever you want to say in there and your content here. I'm actually going to delete my content because I'm going to use another module that's going to fade in when we do that. So we've just got a title there. I want to use an icon rather than an image. Obviously use anything you want. Upload your image if you want to. I'm simply going to use an icon. Spin down, find something appropriate. There we go. As you can see, we've got our little icon and title there. OK, let's just save this and pop this little section up to the top. Just grab the little cross, left click and hold and pull it where, where I wanted to put it. I'm going to put an image in the back of this section there. So I'm going to go back into the blue tab to the background and just add whatever image you want for your hero section or a color or a gradient or a video, whatever you want to put in there. There we go. OK, let's say this. Now I've got a row inside there. Let's make this row the same size as the section by making it full width and taking any padding away from the section in a moment. So I'm going to go into the row, the green one. I'm going to go to design, sizing. I'm going to pull the width up to 100%. I'm going to copy that, control C, and paste it below in the max width, control V. That way we've got a full width row background now. As you can see, our row is full width. But I want to take away any padding on the section. Just use padding for the row itself. So let's go back into the section. Design. Spacing. I'm simply going to put a zero top and bottom in the padding. Just put the zero in. It'll put the picks in. Hit the chain. It'll do the opposite. So we've got a row that's actually covering our section there. Great. Well, let's give our row a bit of padding top and bottom. So it's got some breathing room. So into the row, design, spacing. Let's give it 100 top and bottom. We change this in a little while. There we go. OK, well, let's start working on our little module here. I'm going to actually leave that icon the color it is, but I want the title. You can barely see it in there. Go to our design, to our title text. I'm going to make it bold. Make it a color that we can actually see. <laughs> and let's make it a little bit bigger. And we'll pop them into the middle. OK, well, we've got our first little bit here. Now, this is what I want to display initially, but I want more of the image to be down here. And then when we hover over it, I want a bit of text and a call to action to pop up. So let's save this and we'll add a call to action module little dark button to add a new module. There's our call to action. The reason I'm using a call to action is because we can add a button. There it is. By default, it puts in a background. We'll take that away in a moment. OK, well, I don't want a title on this. And the button click here, that's fine. Can't see it because we've not put a link in for that yet. And the content, I'm going to leave just like that. I'm going to split it up a little bit. I'm going to use Shift and Enter just so there's no line space. There we go. And we can add our button by going down below to Link. Put whatever link you want for your button in there. 
And if you want the actual whole module, this blue sort of section right there to link to somewhere, you can put a link in there. Usual best practices, if you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off site, open it in a new tab. Okay, let's go on down the background. We'll take that background color away. Simply hit the trash can. There we go. I can read everything pretty well. If you wanted to darken this down and you couldn't read it real well, let's just save this a moment. We'll come back to this. We can go back into our row. And you can put a color in. If we go to the background, we'll go to the color. Add a black or something crazy. That's way too much. But if you pull the opacity down, you can see plenty of the image behind as well as being able to read the writing a little bit better. Just set it how you want it. If you have trouble reading your writing, that's a nice little solution there. Okay, well, I'm actually going to get rid of that because I'm fairly happy with the way it is. So let's just trash that. Okay, well, let's go back into this little module. What do we want to do to it? Well, I want to get it a little bit closer to here. So I'm going to use a bit of negative margin on there or take away some of the padding top and bottom. But I actually want to put a bunch of padding on the top and put some negative margin on so we can roll it up to where we want it. But we'll have padding behind our title and everything. So if they roll over here, it'll activate it. Don't know if that makes sense, but we'll do it and it should. So let's go into our little module here. I'm going to go design, spacing, now for the padding on the top right here, I'm going to add 300 pixels or so, which will push it down this way. Again, just put in the number, it'll put in the pixels for you. As you see, that's pushed that down. But I want it to be up close to our title here. And it will still have 300 padding on the top that we can use to hover, so activate the hover. So to do that, let's put a negative 300 in the margin top. There we go, it's popped back up to where we are and the actual padding's making it cover this here so we can activate it with our mouse. Let's do a 350, let's get it a little closer. I don't know, maybe a little too much. There we go, that's fine. Okay. Now if I was to put a background on this module, you'd actually see what we've got covered. Let's do that just so you can see that it's actually covering a lot of our section there. As you can see, it's going up almost to the top there. I could add a bit more padding to the bottom to bring it down. So that when they hover over here, we're going to activate it too. So let's go back to our spacing. And without the chain, I'm going to put say 100 on the bottom. And we'll take it off of our little row right there. Go into the row. Spacing. Let's uncheck that chain and just take that 100 picks off there. There we go. That's pretty much close enough. So when they get to here, it'll activate it. Now we can go back in and take that color away. just so we could see what it was actually covering there. There we go. Now I only want this to appear when they hover over this section here. So to make that happen, we're going to go to our design, going to go down to filters, going to go down to opacity or see throughness, hover over it and it's going to give you some icons, hit the little arrow, common to most Divi modules. You've got a desktop state, when we're not hovering over it, I don't want to see it at all like that. And we've got a hover state, obviously when your mouse is on it, when it's like that, I want it to be fully visible. Now the time it takes to get from this state to this state, by default is 300 milliseconds with Divi, which is pretty quick, just under a third of a second. If you want to slow it down for a bit of drama, go over to advanced transitions. There's the 300 default right there. You can slide it up slower for a bit of drama or quicker if you want it quicker. I'll slide mine up to about a second. And the transition speed curve I like to use for this is ease in, ease out. Play with them. They're all slightly different. Some will work better than others in certain situations. But for my hover effects, I tend to like this ease in, ease out. 
So let's save this and we should have achieved our desired effect. Save our page changes. And exit the visual builder. And there we go, there's our little hero section there with a the little icon and title. When we hover over, our call to action and a little bit of text is going to appear there. And because our row is covering the whole section, if we do it all the way over here, it's going to activate it. And from that little black section that we showed you for what was covering this, if we go up to about here, as soon as you get to about there, it's going to activate it. Get to there, it's going to let it go. So you're pretty well covered for that. So there you go, guys. That's how to create a hero section with title and icon and call to action on hover. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.